D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I've got another troubleshooting video for you this mammoth unit here is in fault for both cooling circuit both cooling circuit is in fault and so I've already figured out pretty much what's going on with one circuit however the second circuit not yet but I'm going to share um, what I had found with the uh, second circuit in this video and then in the next, next video I will show you I will share what I had found for the other circuit all right so to keep the video short stay tuned okay so here we are unit operation it's in mechanical cooling see and if I go back into uh, faults so we're calling for cooling 100 100% you see right there and we go back to home alarm compressor fault number one uh, compressor number one is in fault and then if we click on this one here is that and put in two wait for it compressor two fault as well so uh, so here is compressor number two and here is compressor number one so like I said I don't know what's going on with compressor number one as yet as of, as of yet you know, like I said, I'm going to do another video on that one. Well, I may do another video, I don't know. But I know what's going on here. And to keep the video short, I'm just going to do the... Um, tell you guys what's going on here and do the resolution. So this is... Right now, you see what's going on in this uh, model. Let me take the light off. So the motor protector. Flashing a code. seven flashes okay so the motor protector is in fault and it's doing seven flashes count it again seven flashes okay so here is the uh, the legend reverse phase so based on how the compressor sounds, it sounds to me that the, it sounds like the phase is okay. And there's nothing wrong with the phase actually that's running on the compressor, which is line one, line two, line three. Those are good. Um, so it just seems like uh, these wires, which you can see here, always goes to one, goes to line one, or T1, and line two, or T2, and line, line three, or T3, and they go back into the uh, phase monitor right here where it says line one line two line three and if these are backwards you will get that fault so there's got to be a certain rotation or phase rotation and if you don't connect these things um, properly um, then it will throw you the fault even though the compressor is rotating the right way um, so to solve that all I'm gonna do I'm gonna simply pull that there's no power right here now this, this is dead because this is going to go turn on when the compressor contactor when the compressor contactor which is uh, compressor number two right here see that here's this here's the starter and here's the uh contact is overload which is a part of combined as a starter and here's the contactor so it's being you know just to be safe i'm gonna shut that off but the contactor is currently de-energized right so i'm gonna go in there real quick and i'm simply gonna just switch there's two of these phases right here. So I just switch two of these phases and plug this one. And then this one, with this one I'm gonna switch them, these two. I switched it. So these two are switched. Now I think it should be correct. Okay? Um, because, like I said, the compressor, when it, when it came on momentarily, 
uh, it sound is good. I didn't put my gauges on it, but it sound from experience like we are in the right or correct rotation. Okay, so let's just see now. We're going to um, to reset this bad boy right here. You just gotta pull the main power, which is this one. Ah, uh, come on. So once you disconnect the main power, which is T1 and uh, T2. Now, if you want to know about this motor protector, Core Sense, I have a video on that. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you guys could watch it where I explain in depth how this thing works. Somewhere I pull the power. You can see there's no light. Okay. And I'm gonna put it back. So we are good. Now I'm gonna go reset the alarm, or clear the alarms. Uh, compressor number one is certainly gonna come back because I don't know what it is as yet. You know, so I'm going to uh, clear it anyways. And it's gonna wait for this thing to go through spaces. All right, so once compressor number two is running, I'll get back to you, stay tuned. Now remember, if, as of always, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. So um, perhaps I'm gonna have to be digging uh, through this uh, schematic here because you know I need to know what's going on with the first circuit and I don't know so I'm gonna be digging through this to see you know why does it go it, it go uh, the first compressor goes into fall like literally before the compressor even start I didn't even hear the compressor start so I have my uh, my uh, probe book my smart probe my Parker smart probe hooked up you know the pressures standing pressures are looking rather high it's R14a but it just didn't start. I don't. I, I just don't know why. I gotta figure that out, guys. So, I think this is the first, com second compressor. It just started. Just clicked in, and um, I had the starter off, but it worked. No more fault. Yeah, we are good to go on this one. So that solved that. Seven flashes and this Mammoth uh, Copeland compressor with the core sense so the seven flashes error code solved and the core sense um, compressor motor protector is that the correct term for it? I think so <laughs> I think it's what we usually call this I usually call this motor protector if you know another name that you call it leave it in the comment section okay but again, I have a video on this in detail. I'm gonna leave the link to that video in the description. So that takes care of this compressor. Now, onto this compressor right here, I just don't know what's going on. Now this thing is checks out. There's no faults on that. Um, I said I'm gonna be digging deeper. And just to keep this video short, it's eight minutes long right now, so I'm gonna close this video off. And I may, you may see another one coming. Um, you know with this one here once I figure out what's wrong with it you know I don't this is uh, this unit is rather technical it's a lot going on with it the, f the first compressor here is also a uh, digital scroll it has a solenoid on it so if I go into uh, cooling uh, you can see digital scroll that's compressor number one so the percentage of capacity right um, it's right there and then there's a solenoid so this is usually with this compressor I have a video on that too you will be using a uh, module that Copeland makes but these guys they use their own controller to do that alright so I'm going to close this video off if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed subscribe I upload videos on a weekly basis. There is your filters. It's commercial HVAC, just so you know. Not residential, commercial. So something for you, commercial guys. 
this scenery should be familiar to you. All right, commercial baby, I'm out.